Welcome to part four of our LXR tutorial series, Shift Performance. Gets us into the pattern generator. This sets the length maximum of 16. Now you'll notice as soon as you move the knob, it fills out the data. And the data here, steps four, so you can see when we change the length, it is compacting those four steps into whatever length that we've set down to whatever it can and it spreads it out evenly over however many steps we've got well tries to spread it out evenly so it's a euclidean generator so if we press play we can get it doing its thing as we adjust put that back to 16 go to the next one as soon as we adjust any of these knobs it's going to fill out the data now rotate will move these steps one way or another so rotating them two off four off five Try another one. Change the length. Number of steps. So we've just got one step here on that crash because we've rotated it up eight we can move it to wherever we like so just because it's a euclidean generator doesn't mean we can't have some precision in where we want the steps to go Save pattern 14. Now let's say we like that, but we'd like to make a copy of it and have some variation. So save pattern 14 we just did. Let's go save pattern instead of 14. We'll go to 15. So now 15 is automatically selected. As we can see, if we go shift pattern, current pattern 15. So we play that. Now we might decide that we want to clear one of these tracks. Let's say we don't like any of the hats. Now we could just go back into the generator. Put the length back up to 16, say, and have the steps down to one. And then just take that off and we've cleared the track. But maybe you don't like doing it that way. Let's say, Let's just fill it up again. Let's just say we've got all this. We'd like to clear it a different way. You can select the voice. Well, it's already selected there. And then go shift, clear, clear pattern. No, clear automation, clear track. Yep. So now that track data is gone. We might want to do the same here. Shift, clear, clear track, yep. So now those two tracks are clear. So now we've got our 16 step pattern because that's all the Euclidean generator will do. It won't go further than 16, but we might want to have a 32 step pattern, for example. So let's say this first 
just mute all them for now. Let's just say this first section, it's incredibly simple, but let's just say we wanted to do it by copying. So we've got the voice selected. We just go copy and go the bar up. So let's just switch these other ones back on. And we can check the length of that by going into the mix page. And there it is, length 32. Now, somewhat strange thing, on the pattern generator, you'll notice it sets the length. Unless you've specifically told it something to zero, which is sort of a bit funny. But that's just a minor little quirk. So we've got that one at 32. Let's say we wanted to do the same here. Copy bar. So now this one, we see here length 32. Next voice, that's length seven. So what would happen there if we go copy bar? It's now copied the same data, but to the second bar, which is sort of irrelevant because the length is only seven. So let's load a different project. Go to project number one. This is one of the factory projects. Shift pattern. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing on 21. Let's try the pattern generator on here. Remember, as soon as you turn a knob, you'll get some data put in. It's sort of a kit. Let's try something else. Lots of fun. Save pattern 21. Now when you're making patterns a bit longer, there's various ways you can do that. You can go shift last step, last step for track 21, and then you can use the buttons here to say what the last step is. You can go bar up and then 32 or whatever you like back down again to 16 you can also go shift last step and you see it toggles from track to track to set the last step or if you go shift last step a second time the toggle is all and then you can do the same thing so now every track will be 16 Another way you could do it is to go into the mix page, set the length there. Now if we set the length to say the track 1 to 32 and press play. Now you might expect these other things to not be playing because you've extended it to 32 and you think to yourself but I only had data in the first 16 steps for all these other tracks how come they're playing well they're all on every tracks on its own little loop so these tracks which are at length 16 they're constantly just looping through their own 16 steps i don't care what anybody else is doing they've been told their length is 16 so that's what they're doing go to 16 start again this one we set to 32 but on the second bar there's no data which is why when we play we have that pause there 
and it needs to work that way, otherwise we wouldn't get that interesting polymeter interplay where you have some tracks with five steps, some with seven, some with sixteen, and they're all intertwining and overlapping and creating that beautiful complexity. Until next time, see ya.